But there's like there's um there's an absolutely <laughs> preposterous and bizarre conspiracy theory that's been knocking about recently among the um the right wing in the US. Right. Who aren't really right wing, they're just I mean mental authoritarian yeah, fascists yeah, yeah. who are extremely online, right? So it's actually, I mean, it's actually probably a little bit of a disservice to sensible conservative people, mm. um, which who I don't, personally don't have a problem with in principle, um, to be calling these people right wing because they're mad. Right. But anyway, they've got a, um, they've got this theory going on that that Michelle Obama is a trans woman. Yes, yeah, yeah. That, you seen that? that? That's a that's a long term um, trope for the for the uh, m- maniacal um, right, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, that's and they and they obviously just refer to her as Mike Obama, which is hor- horrendously offensive and really a you know, aw- awful thing to do mm. for millions of different reasons. And um, just noticed that um, David Cotterill, we spent ten games on loan at Pompey back in the day. He's involved. <laughs> he's involved. He's retweeting it. Is he good stuff? I yeah, like he's it. he's absolutely loving it. He's um yeah. he's yeah. um Welsh footballer. You've probably heard of him. Played for um played for loads of different clubs, kind of yeah. in the football league. Never really kind of troubled the the upper echelons of the Premier League. But he's an international footballer. Twenty four caps for Wales. Yeah, uh, rampant conspiracy theorist. <laughs> what needs to happen? Is Give them that... golf. Give them a golf club. Like this is, it's just their days not being quite as full as their empty days when they were footballers. You know, they go from, they, they don't do like they don't do much footballers, and that's why they get themselves in all kinds of um, pickles. In my opinion, they they're just they're just thrown into a world where they're needed for about three hours a day, and you can't really do much more than that. And then they're just like, oh, I've just I've I've done a lot of gambling, and now I'm in trouble. You know what I mean? It's like it's just. You're in a situation where you don't have, you've got a lot of downtime, and you're quite intense individuals um, with you know probably crip, quite crippling OCD outside, and that helps you in your sphere. But then when you um, retire, you've got even more room. You've got the odd. But you've uh, media not been radicalised. <laughs> you are. You've not been radicalised, and you tick all the boxes, don't you? I fill it with the editing, though. <laughs> <laughs> Give him a copy of Adobe Audition. Listen, he needs more stuff to, to edit, edit, but otherwise he's going to go off the rails. <laughs> get him some more audio to edit. I don't Idle care hands. what it is. Idle hands. I am starting to get like RSI in my right wrist. That's not right, is it? It's not the same, is it? No. No. But no. I, what I was going to say was, is it worth... I mean, these people would never agree to it, so I guess it's not possible. Mm. But it'll be interesting to do a proper, scientifically rigorous study on the type of people who are susceptible to this stuff. Yeah. Because uh, I'll tell you why. Because I understand there's a radicalisation element and... There's a load of things going on about the internet that we don't fully understand, I'm sure. But I spend a lot of time on the internet from my job. I know a lot of people do. I consume content which is probably, you know, radicalizing to some people, but I just look at it and go, that's fucking nonsense. Yeah. So what, and I'm not saying I'm more intelligent than anyone else. So what's the difference? Why are people susceptible to it? Because I thought that conspiracy theorists where it was just basically a way for stupid people to think they understand the word, basically for stupid people to feel clever, right? Mm. Oh, what I know, I, I've, I've spent my life being told I'm not very clever. Now, look, I know something you don't, and it doesn't yeah. matter if it's not true or not, if it's true or not, because I'm just fucking jealously guarding it as my fucking truth. Yeah, and maybe it's no more complicated than that, but it does seem kind of odd that, um, certain football players are susceptible to it, possibly because maybe because they're not very clever, I don't know, maybe it's just they're not really taken the time to be educationally rigorous because they've not needed to, perhaps. Mm. Do you not think that, like... Do you not think that maybe... Um, that you... you, you like, personality-wise, you actually seek out other people and you're quite personable and you want to talk to people and you want to hang out with people, whereas a lot of people, you know, I'm, I'm probably in, the, in that bracket, um, are quite not, not quite as... They're happy to do it online, but face to face, they're actually quite awkward people. Uh, yeah, and that drives you online, and that drives you in. Matisio was a TV that... pre- TV guy and everything, though, wouldn't he? Yeah, yeah, I guess so. I guess that's a bit of a yeah. I, I don't really yeah, I don't really know why. I, I, people I also are think one of the things that's kind of unique about it as well is that you get certain things that say have been covered up by the government or that would or that would be seen as conspiracy theories that turn out to be true, which then further entrenches people mm. that every conspiracy theory is true right oh well you know this one turned out to be true so mm. how do you know about this one right and that, mm. that gives them further kind of fuel to their fire when they don't and then they what they don't do is they don't fully understand that there's nothing to link these things yeah. like the jfk conspiracy theory is not at all related to you know a ufo conspiracy theory they're just they're just different 
things entirely, but people bracket them all together. And, and it seems to me that if you're likely to believe that JFK was killed by a cabal of, you know, New World Order types, you're also, for some reason, much more likely to believe that, for example, man didn't walk on the moon. Right, yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I, I, I could see that. I mean, I'll, I mean, but we all know it all comes down to anti-Semitism in the end, doesn't it? <laughs> always Normally, the, always the same. it always ends up being something derogatory about the Jewish community, doesn't it? <laughs> It's a bit, I mean, I think, I think we, I think it, the more interesting question would be that why is the direction of travel always towards Jewish people? You know yeah. what I mean? It's like it's absolute. That's the conspiracy for me. It's going. It's not why is it always the Jews. It's why are you always talking about the Jews? You know what I mean? Why so, what, is everyone obsessed with the Jews? Uh, Out of all of them. <laughs> Oh, another, all thing, of the people. another thing, I, I, another thing I, I, <laughs> I, when I was thinking about this a while back, I've just pulled it up here now because I completely forgot that I read it. Um, I've still got access to a load of um, academic journals because of the login I've got from when I was at uni. Yeah. And um, there was a really interesting academic study um, called Conspiracy Theories as Part of History, the Role of Societal Crisis Situations, which basically does a pretty good job of um, explaining... Um, that conspiracy theories have, have basically always been a part of human history in its entirety. Yeah. So this is this is not an internet phenomena. Like, you know, people would make up stories and have legends about different things and and understand and, and think that they understood certain parts of the world yeah. when actually it was just a fucking load of old shit. Yeah. And the difference being, of course, but it's always happened. And the difference being, of course, that now it's probably less forgivable because we've got access to so much information mm. so for example like we know why the earth goes around the sun right uh well i, uh, I don't i you, personally you, don't but, you, but I mean, you do. <laughs> you've got more of you've got more of a handle of it than i have <laughs> you know and but well, back you in produced, the day no one uh, uh, you produced eureka for a bit <laughs> <laughs> that's true until i handed it over when it was way above my fucking station <laughs>